Hey, super scientists, we're looking in your Intro to Chem Lab Notebook, and we're on page 8. And we're going to be completing this chart together, looking at solid, liquid, and gas, and comparing these three states of matter. So we're first looking at how the particles act. So particles in a solid are going to be closely packed together, and they will vibrate in place. Particles in a liquid are going to be close together, and they're able to move around freely. They flow freely. And in a gas, the particles are going to spread out and bounce around, so they have so much energy that they literally are bouncing off the walls. Describe their shape and volume. In terms of shape and volume for a solid, a solid is going to have definite shape and definite volume. So a solid will um, have a specific shape that it takes up, and it will take up a specific amount of space. For liquids, liquids do not have a definite shape, and that's because they move freely. They flow around and will fill up basically the container that they are in. And liquids do have a definite volume, so they have a definite uh, mass compared to the space that they take up. And for a gas, um, for a gas, it will have no definite shape or definite volume. So gases do not have definite shape and they do not have definite volume. So gases will take up the shape of their container and will, when they fill up that container, uh, take on the volume of that container as they're spreading out and bouncing around. How do the molecules move when they change state? So molecules that change state starting out as a solid, as a solid turns to a liquid, it's going to be moving faster. So the molecules will start moving faster as it is going from solid to a liquid because they are taking in energy. For a liquid, when a liquid um, freezes, when it goes from liquid to solid, the molecules are going to move slower. But when a liquid evaporates, when it vaporizes and turns from liquid to gas, it's going to be moving faster. So the molecules start speeding up. And a gas, so when a gas condenses, when it cools off, it's going to be going from gas to liquid, and those molecules are going to start moving slower. What happens to the, to the energy when they change states? So when a solid um, turns into a liquid, when it melts, it's going to be gaining energy. When a liquid freezes, when it goes from liquid to solid, it's going to be giving off energy, so it's going to be cooling down. Those molecules are slowing down as well. And when a liquid turns into a gas, when it evaporates, it's going to be increasing in energy, so it, the molecules are starting to move faster and faster. And when a gas condenses, it's going to be giving off energy. It's cooling down. Some examples of solids. Solid um, ice, so the solid water. Crystals like amethyst crystal, so both of those are examples of crystalline solids. Salt is another example of crystalline solid. Marshmallows, um, cheese, candles, um, those are examples of amorphous solids. They're kind of squishy solids. They generally um, will change state easily. Some examples of liquids, milk, honey, and water. And examples of gas, helium, carbon dioxide, oxygen, nitrogen. So a lot of times when I'm given an example um, or ask a question like on the EOG, um, so I will think about the example of that particular type of matter and frame it in the context of water. I always think about what would happen to water if it went from liquid to solid or what would happen to uh, water when it freezes or when it evaporates. So solid um, water is ice. Uh, liquid water is just water, and gaseous water is water vapor. So water is a good example to use when you're um, thinking about changing from one state to another because it, it easily and um, uh, widespread exists on the planet Earth in all three states of matter. So it's very common to be found in um, solid, liquid, and gaseous phase.